Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Splatoon 2's Octo Expansion. As Nintendo released a new commercial in Japan that showed off some of their spring lineup. And this included Kirby Star Allies, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Mario Tennis Aces, and of course Splatoon 2's Octo Expansion. Now Splatoon 2 was played in handheld mode the entire trailer, so we never got a good look at the new gameplay. However, we did get a not so good look at what was shown. So we decided to zoom in on certain screens that showed off five new levels, and this gives us a better idea of what we can expect from the Octo expansion. Now before we get into these stages, it should be noted that this is part of the spring trailer, and the latest of these games to come out is Mario Tennis Aces on June 22nd which could mean the Octo Expansion comes out around there as well. It was listed as summer, so maybe it's right on that June edge of spring and summer, or it was simply included because it's just so popular in Japan. Anyway, looking at this first image, we see the Octoling being shot across onto a bounce pad, where she will then bounce towards some crates. And at the top left side, we see that she actually has five lives rather than the standard three. In addition, she's destroyed 12 of 35 crates, and she only has 20 seconds to do this. So as we thought during our analysis, these are timed missions, and they are focused on specific tasks. And some might be harder than others if these lives are anything to go on, or maybe you can decide how many lives you get based on that currency and how much you spend. We still don't quite know, but that's just an estimation from us. In addition, we see that the Octoling is equipped with the Octo Brush and the Curling Bombs. And as a weird note, there are ring pop-like items floating around in the background. It truly is the 90s. The next image shows a familiar scene where the Octoling is using the Splatling Gun to shoot down Octarians that have appeared. And like the box mission, there is a time limit and a certain amount of Octarians that need to be defeated. What is different though is that the Octoling only has three lives and she only has access to the Splatling Gun. There are no sub-weapons available. In addition, we see the power eggs flying towards her, and this does add to her currency total, so the power eggs are what you use to enter the stages. So that might add an interesting dynamic where you need more power eggs for later stages, and you might need to redo some missions, or do some old missions even better if there's a ranking system. Again, we're just sort of guessing on the possibilities here, but it is very likely based on what we're seeing. The third image might be a continuation of the first image, but it has the Octoling riding on a grind rail as she destroys the final boxes. She still has five lives, only 10 seconds left, and the same equipment with the same background, so it seems to be part of the same level. The next level shown is another familiar one from the reveal trailer, and it does show that you do have to shoot all the boxes in a certain time limit as you grind along the rails. It seems the Octoling has already failed once, as she only has two lives left, and she's only equipped with the splatter shot and the ink bombs. The final stage we see is another familiar one from the reveal trailer that has the Octoling using the ink jet. She only has one life left and two and a half minutes to go. However, as we thought, it is a mission where she has infinite inkjet and she has to navigate the level while using it. We see that she has access to no other weapons and there's an infinity symbol next to her inkjet meter. So yeah, a lot of the predictions and estimations that we had about Splatoon 2's Octoling expansion are coming true. So it is definitely more of a mission-based game. But what do you guys think of these new revelations? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Splatoon and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.